Wow, look at this guy. First of all, think about the shoes that he was wearing back in the 50s and 60s. Nothing like what you see behind me. Can you imagine? And uh, Monday, Monday, Monday with a little Sick Beauty work hard and love each other happening in the studio. Here we go. How we doing, everybody? How's that doorknob turn today? In fact, let's do it right now. Question of the day. How was your run? What did you do? What was your distance? Did you do a workout? Maybe you had a day off. Maybe you did some cross training. Who knows? Maybe you did a race on a Monday. If so, that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, ah, topic for another day. But today, I'm in a little bit of a reflection mode uh, to continue to inspire myself to turn that doorknob through the winter months when it's cold out, when it's dark out. Uh, so reflecting back on my time in Buena Vista, where I grew up, up in the mountains in Colorado, 8,000 feet above sea level. And a shout out to my cross country and indoor track coach, Matt, who introduced me to the story of Jim Ryan, okay? For those that don't know, Jim Ryan, the first sub uh, four minute miler in the United States. Oh boy, I think in the 19, oh boy, I should know that date. 19, late 1950s, early 1960s, here it is on your screen. So Jim Ryan, this documentary that my coach inter introduced me to really was an instigator, a, you know, I'll just say even a motivator for me to think about, wow, Look at this guy. First of all, think about the shoes that he was wearing back in the 50s and 60s. Nothing like what you see behind me. Can you imagine if Jim Ryan would have had the Mach 4s or the Speed 1s or 2s or, you know, not, not even talking about, you know, the full-on carbon fiber plate game. But to think about the work that he had to put in, the, the struggle, the sacrifice. And one of the stories that is shared in this documentary, and I'll find it and put it on the screen for you, the title of this documentary for you, uh, Jim Ryan spelled R-Y-U-N, okay? He lives in Kansas. Um, and so this, uh, this documentary shares about how he was preparing for the Olympics in Mexico City. For those that don't know, Mexico City, very high elevation. I believe it's around 8,000 feet, which is very high, close to where I grew up as far as Buena Vista being 8,000 feet above sea level. And it talks about how Jim would travel from Kansas up to Alamosa, Colorado, home of Adams State, and train through the winter months in the, in at all, oh, Alamosa. It's just, it's cold and it can be very windy. It's a big, big, it's called the San Luis Valley. Very big, cold, can be windy. It's just, a t you know, it's tough. It makes you tough out there when you're training. And so this documentary just walks you through the process and the sacrifice that Jim had to go through to overcome the challenge of competing in an Olympic event at 8,000 feet at high altitude. And I draw upon this uh, story and Jim's story quite often, I'll say, in my personal training when I simply think to myself, how am I going to get my legs moving in the morning at not 3 a.m., but waking up at, you know, 4 a.m., getting out the door by 4.45 a.m., and it's cold, my legs hurt, um, I reflect back and I think on Jim's story. So, Jim Ryan, thanks for the inspiration. We've never met, but who knows, maybe I'll get to meet him someday. Um, yeah, there you go, everybody. Comment of the day. That's the vlog today, just a, a reflection on on the grit, on the what it takes to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. You gotta, you gotta buckle down a little bit and just put the work in. So here we go. Comment of the day, Hein, mine hearts being pulled from the motivation clip that I have on the homepage of the YouTube channel. Wow, this hit home. Caught it just as I came in from Hill Repeats. I cursed and cried, usual response to Hill Repeats, and was emotionally so ready for this clip. Good one, Seth. Hein Meinhardt, thank you for sharing. You get the comment of the day. Onward and upward, have a great week. All right, we got this. We're gonna get through these winter months, DGR, through the cold, through the dark. Onward and upward. And speaking of that two minute clip, we will toss it to that, that little motivator that I threw together a couple years ago from right there, right there, right there. All right, Oof. keep turning, keep turning. Seek beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.